Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another update that I hope you find helpful. In today's clip, I'll show you just how simple it is to add your Wise products to your Amazon Echo so you can control them with your voice. Now, I've reviewed a lot of the Wise products on the channel already, starting with their original Wise Cam, which I think of as really a technical miracle because they built a camera that's smaller than a Rubik's Cube <laughs> that provides high quality color 1080p streaming video as well as night vision. It also includes two way audio, so I can yell at somebody in the room, I can listen to them yell back at me. It includes motion detection, so it turns on when there's movement in the room, and it connects to your Wi Fi directly and doesn't require a hub. All of that in a tiny little package for less than $20. I don't know how they do it. To jam pack that many features into a camera like that at that size for less than 20 bucks, I mean, in the box, there's a power supply and a cable. Those two things together should be at least $10. So I don't know how they do it, but that was the thing that got me really interested in the company because as an engineer, I know what things cost. I know how much time and effort it takes to put a product like that together. And I was really impressed that they could do it and sell it to the public for 20 bucks. So I started looking at some other other products. I've reviewed their Wise Plug, which is a, a plug that you can put into the wall, plug a lamp into it and turn it on through the application. I just reviewed the Wise Bulbs, which are really smart bulbs that you can screw into any light socket and turn them on again through the application without having a hub or any kind of connectivity other than your Wi-Fi. There are two other cameras that I'm gonna be reviewing. This is the Wisecam Pan, where it actually moves around and can scan the room for you. And this is the brand new Wisecam Outdoor. That's not even on the market yet. I'll be reviewing that one. That's a rechargeable camera that you can park in a tree and have a connect to your network and supply video. So all of those work through one application that Wise has built. That's another thing you'll like about the company, because if you're looking to do things in the home that are smart, you've got to kind of pick a camp that you're going to go with. You're going to pick one of the major manufacturers and then get an application that all the devices can touch. Wise has built that application. So any new product you buy from them, the minute you activate it, it becomes available in the application and you can just by tapping on the screen, either look at a camera or turn things on and off in your home. Now, where it gets really interesting is when you tie that into a smart speaker like the Amazon Echo, because it's great having the application where I can tap a button and turn on a light or look at my camera. But if I'm in my recliner and my, my cell phone's in the kitchen, it doesn't do me a whole lot of good. I got to get up, go get the cell phone and turn it on. I might as well just walk down the hall and turn on the light. So tying it into my smart speaker system allows me to be really lazy and lay back in my Barker lounger and just scream at a speaker and have it do amazing things. Now, it is a little bit tricky because Amazon has a lot of different versions of their Echo product. This is the Echo Dot. It's just a speaker and a microphone, so it'll listen to you. It'll give you feedback and talk to you, but you can't really see video on it. So this works really well with the bulbs and with the, um, the Wise plug. If you want to view the video, you've got to have something like the Echo Show, which is, this is the smaller one. They make a bigger one. There's a whole family of products here. They actually just came out with a brand new product called Echo Flex, which is sort of a smaller version of the dot. And this plugs into an outlet and it's got modules you can plug into it that have like night lights on them, or it's got a, a motion detector where you can detect motion and turn things on inside the house. But any of the Amazon Echo products will work with Wise. And tying them together really takes that home automation to the next level because it allows me again to control everything just by barking at a speaker someplace. And if you've got a bunch of these around your house, it's kind of cool that you can be up in the bathroom turning on the front porch lights or checking the camera out in the driveway. So what I'm gonna show you today is how simple it is to tie the Wise universe into the Amazon universe. So once these two are together, any new Wise product you add to that ecosystem will immediately become available on your uh, Echo devices. So if you stay tuned, next I'll show you the process. It's like eight steps. It's really, really straightforward. And then I'll come back with some final thoughts after that. Connecting your WISE devices to your Amazon Echo is easy, and you'll start on the main screen of the Alexa application. Tap the search icon in the upper right-hand corner to bring up the main screen. Type WISE into the search bar, and then tap Search. Select the WISE application from the options presented. It should be near the top of the page. On the next screen, tap Enable to Use, which will connect the Alexa app to the WISE app. Next, you'll enter your email and password to your WISE account, and then tap Sign In. Read the details of what's being shared, and then click Accept to continue. Once the two applications connect, you'll see a message letting you know that the WISE products are now linked to your Alexa system. You can tap Done to continue. Now Alexa needs to discover these new devices on the network, so tap Discover Devices to start the search. Alexa will now scan your network for new WISE products and add them to its device list so you can control them with your voice. When the scan is complete, the Alexa application will list the devices it found with the scan. Be sure to check the screen to verify that all of your new devices were discovered. Once you've confirmed that all of the products are listed, tap Setup Device to continue. 
On the next screen, you can add your new devices to a group to make them easier to control by simply tapping Choose Group. You can also skip this step and add them later if you like by tapping Skip. The process is now complete and you can tap Done to start controlling your new WISE devices with your voice through your Amazon Echo. Now that you see just how easy it is to add the WISE products to your Amazon Echo, I had a couple of final thoughts about home automation in general because this market's exploding and it can get really confusing. There's a lot of companies out there that are talking about their products and it can be confusing to figure out what product works with what other product. The honest truth is most companies out there have their own application. So WISE has built an application that controls all their products. But guess what? If you go with another company for your front door lock or maybe you decide to go with somebody else's smart bulb, their application can't see that other product. Now you've got a problem of four applications on your phone and you're thinking, is the light in the driveway on this system or that system? And it can turn into a headache pretty quickly. So a couple of things you want to keep in mind. Number one, there are a lot of companies out there that make really good smart products. So shop around because the company that builds the best front door lock may not be the best company for your smart lights. Conversely, these guys built some really smart products that are inexpensive but they may not be perfect for all of your needs. So look at the products that are out there, pick the ones that work for you. The two things you have to keep in mind is number one, any company you pick, make sure there's an application that will control the device you're buying as well as other devices you may consider buying down the road because you don't wanna have three applications from the same company that can't talk to those devices because again, you're spinning up a bunch of applications on your phone to control things. The second and probably most important thing is any product you buy, make sure that it's fully compliant and compatible with the Amazon Alexa system and the Google Home system them because all those disparate products in your home have individual applications to control them. The place they all come together is through a system like this. This system abstracts all the complexity out of controlling all those devices because the minute you configure them through the application and add them to the Alexa universe, this product now knows about all those products and can control it from one central point. So down the road, if you decide, I don't really like that camera I bought from company A, I'm going to replace it with company B. Guess what? it ties into your Alexa system or your Google Home system. So just keep those things in mind as you're going forward, but have fun. I mean, this is an exciting space and I get a ton of questions on the channel about what's the best company, what's the best product. That's a hard question to answer because it depends on what you're trying to do, but they're not terribly expensive things. And I can tell you, it's a cool experience to be able to sit on your chair and bark at a speaker in the kitchen and have the lights dim in another room. It's just really great. So anyway, that's all I had for today. If you have any questions about anything I've covered today, drop those in the comments below. I have links below for all these products and all the Amazon products. So if you want to support the channel, hit that. I will be doing a lot more clips around home automation, smart speakers, home audio systems, all the other high tech stuff I play with. And I know it's a drone channel and I'm doing a ton of clips on drones as well, but I play with a ton of high-tech gear. I have a lot of people asking me about it, so I thought, let me expand the channel just a little bit to cover some of that other high-tech stuff, because again, I'm a nerd, and if I think it's interesting, I'm hoping you guys think it's interesting, so I'm going to continue to do these until all of you tell me to stop, because I love talking about technology, and this is the place I like to do it. So that's it for today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button down there, because I'm going to be giving some of this stuff away over the next couple of weeks. You're definitely going to want to get in on those contests. Plus, we got a lot of cool stuff coming, and you're not going to want to miss those clips. So join the Drone Valley family. I promise you we'll keep it interesting. And that's it for today. So thanks again for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and until next time, stay nerdy! Ha, ha, ha.